All right, YouTube, it's uh, Zach the Celtics guy, and I'm back with another video, and I know it's been quite a while since I posted on this channel. Uh, I've just had a lot of difficult things going on in my personal life that are currently, uh, that I'm currently dealing with, and I just haven't really been posting too much, so if anyone has been wondering why I haven't been posting that much, that's the reason. But things are slowly but surely getting better with me. And things will be getting better soon, especially with a with a very special trip coming up soon. And he knows who he is, but that's besides the point. Um, and I wanted to get on here and talk about a couple things, but one thing in particular, well, one individual in particular that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time, but really haven't, but haven't really had the time or the energy to discuss. So right now. I'm currently waiting on two friends of mine, and I figured that for the time that I'm waiting, I figured that I would make this video. I don't really want to make it in my house at the moment due to the climate in my house at the moment, so I decided to talk about it here. So, I've studied up on various, you know, politics. You know, for those of you who for those of you who don't know, yeah, a lot of stuff on this channel, I talk a lot about political stuff, world affairs, sometimes I'll talk about world leaders, I'll discuss different persons and groups and all that, and I'll give my opinion on it. Well, there, well, I did a video on Alberto Fujimori, the former president of uh, Peru, who got, who got time, who was getting time in prison for crimes against humanity. And there's a guy in Brazil that I wanted to talk about that's the current president of Brazil and that I'm fully convinced is probably one of the most bigoted human beings in human history. And I don't say that because I have a left-wing bias and or anything like that. It's just because the person's views are bigoted. It's just it's as simple as it's as simple as that. It's clear as day that this person is bigoted. His name is Jair Bolsonaro, or they, I know his name is Bolsonaro, but I don't know if his name is pronounced Jair Bolsonaro or Jair Bolsonaro, I'm not sure, but okay, I'll just say Jair, just to be on the safe side. Jair Bolsonaro is the current president of Brazil, and he kind of got in, it was a weird path in Brazil, and I kind of studied up on this a little bit. Because, you know, the area of Latin America and the Caribbean area is an area that I've kind of studied in, that I've kind of studied about with my, like, you know, political research I thought was kind of interesting. So I kind of do dove into that. And what I think of this guy, Jair Bolsonaro, well, the reason he got in, but, but the reason that he got in was kind of the same reason why Donald Trump won here. But, you know, a lot of people compare him to Donald Trump compare Jair Bolsonaro to Donald Trump, and I don't know if that's really accurate, but, uh, you know, Donald Trump is known for not being able to keep his fucking mouth shut, and kind of Jair Bolsonaro is the same way. So, I mean, I can see the comparisons, but Jair Bolsonaro, think what you want about Trump, but Jair Bolsonaro is significantly worse than Trump by any stretch. Yes, of course, the two are fucking ass buddies and, 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 and all that, so that's that pretty much. So, the issue I have with this guy, well, the one thing in particular that I have an issue with about this guy, Jair, Bol Jair Bolsonaro, is the fact that he's made comments that are, some are racially insensitive, and some comments he's made are just flat-out racist. Uh, and, and I don't use the word racist lightly, because I know that that word has been kind of thrown around a lot. So, it's kind of hard to take that word and like it like its meaning has kind of been screwed around with because you know in this day and age the PC climate and whatnot um he's a straight up homophobe i mean there is no question in my mind that J Jair Bolsonaro is homophobic uh i'll link some comment i'll link some things in the description and i i i planned on covering uh some things about this guy um but, you know, Jair, Bol Jair Bolsonaro didn't really... He won the presidency of Brazil for this reason, and I actually found this out. Now, there was a... Now, Lula da Silva 
ran Brazil from 2003 to 2011. He was a he was actually considered one of the world's most popular politicians. And he did a lot of good things for Brazil. He actually lifted millions out of poverty. He had very successful social safety nets and social programs and everything. And then when his term was up, uh, Brazil's first female president, Dilma Rousseff, got in in 2011. And then she faced uh, a corruption scandal in 2013, 2014. And then she actually got impeached. Online. I think it was corruption or bribery or something to that effect. Uh, again, you can fact check me on that. And then, then her successor, well not successor, but her vice president that took over after she got impeached, uh, Mikel Temer, uh, was basically a corrupt SOB. And, you know, he was just a wishy-washy, you know, like a wishy-washy, like neoliberal almost. And then he was extremely unpopular. He, his approval rating was in the single digits. And then he ended up, that ended up paving the way for Jair Bolsonaro to get in because people were sick and tired of the corruption in Brazil. That's really what it came down to. But here's the thing, though, about Jair Bolsonaro. Jair Bolsonaro, if you look at his record, if you look at his comments... You can see that if if somebody like Lula was up against Jair Bolsonaro, he would have gotten absolutely crushed in those elections. Like, there is no question in my mind. But the reason Jair Bolsonaro didn't get in is because the person who was up against him, I forget the name of the person who was up against him, apparently was obviously like a neoliberal or obviously too far left, and people in Brazil were sick of that. They were sick of that system. So then they ended up going with Jair Bolsonaro, who's a complete bigot and a war criminal. And, the, the, you know, the, the, they're just... If you look at his record, you can, you can see why there are so many people that are against him in the Western world. You know, gay people like myself, you know, me being a gay man, obviously I'm not going to like someone that's a blazing homophobe. There's no doubt in my mind that Jair Bolsonaro is homophobic. He is homophobic. Uh, he's made comments saying he'd rather have a dead son than a gay son. He's called the Afro-Brazilian community worse than, like, scum and all that, or they're not worthy of procreation. He even told a fellow congresswoman he wouldn't rape her because she didn't deserve it. You know, the, the guy is just a complete piece of shit. I mean, the guy's a complete fucking scumbag and a bigot. And he's also a warmonger because he also wants to militarily interfere in Venezuela's business. And he has Donald Trump's backing because Donald Trump obviously wants to get involved in um, Venezuela's nonsense. Uh, Venezuela's bullshit because apparently, you know, the Republicans in this country and the neoliberals like Joe Biden and, you know, and the, the warmongers like Bolsonaro in Brazil and elsewhere, they seem to think that Venezuela is up for sale and is Venezuela's business. Now, here's the thing. Venezuela is fucked up. They have a very fucked up, corrupt government. But it's not our place to say, and it's really not anyone's business who Venezuela has for a leader. It, it, it's really not anyone's business, and nobody should really be saying anything. So, you know, J Jair Bolsonaro, let's just hope that for Brazil, I mean, I can't really say too much because Brazil really isn't my country. I don't really have much of a say in it. But, but watching that from afar, I can kind of see... He's also played down the coronavirus. Now, again, I have my own thoughts on the coronavirus. But Brazil has handled the coronavirus very badly. Not as badly as this country has. But I'll tell you, Brazil hasn't handled it well because he plays it down like it's a minor flu. He's played it down like this. You know, the, the guy's a complete fucking maniac. I mean, there's, there's no question in my mind. Now, if anybody likes Bolsonaro... Now, now here's the thing. For, you know, I'm a big fan of Stick, Sex, and Hammer. I don't agree with Stick, Sex, and Hammer on everything. Stick, Sex, and Hammer 666. Uh, well, my boyfriend Steven actually got me got me interested in Sticks, but that's a whole other story. And, you know, Sticks kind of defended him, and I don't really agree with it. Because, because Jair Bolsonaro is not someone that is aligned with... with is not someone that's really aligned with Stick, Sex, and Hammer. 
because Sticks himself, he supports gay rights, he supports women's rights, he's a libertarian, he's very, very unbiased, that's why I have a lot of respect for him, but you know, he kind of does support Bulls and Arrow, and I kind of don't really agree with it, you know, some people might, some Trump supporters might support him, but I don't, I'm not a Trump supporter myself, I don't like Trump, I, I can't stand, I can't fucking stand the guy for the most part anyway. And now, I know a lot of people that do like Trump, and I'm on very good terms with them, some of which are very close friends. But, you know, with this whole election coming up, could we have gotten a better option than, than fucking Joe Biden? Because we should have gotten a better option than Joe Biden, because I don't really like Trump, and I don't really want him in office for another four years. I really don't. Could we have gotten someone better than Trump? I mean, Jerbo, well, Jerbo, sorry. Joe Biden is no is not fucking better than Trump by any stretch. And I think on election day, Trump is going to get reelected, and no one has themselves to blame for the Demo- than the Democrats. Just like why I think that if Jair Bolsonaro gets reelected in Brazil in 2023 then the neoliberals in Brazil aren't going to have anyone to blame but themselves. Because if you put someone up against Jair Bolsonaro, a complete bigot and a warmonger that was actually halfway decent, he would get absolutely crushed. If you put someone halfway decent up against Trump, Trump would get absolutely crushed as well. But the reason why Trump got in was because Hillary Clinton, I mean, God the fuck with Hillary Clinton... And then Jair Bolsonaro's opponent was obviously not very good either. And then it led to that. So let's just hope that, you know, wishing for the best. With a lot of things going on in my life. This has really been the last thing that's been on my mind. But I thought I would just get on here and talk about it. Because, again, I haven't uploaded in quite some time. So I thought I would get on here and kind of discuss that. I'll try to upload more soon. I'll definitely talk more about this. I'll definitely talk, um, I'll definitely bring up the quotes of this, this bigoted individual, which I will definitely do. And I'll be back with more videos. This is Zach, the Celtics guy. Thank you for watching. I hope you all are doing well. And I think, is that my friend? I don't know. Anyway, my friends will probably be here soon. So I got to head off. Peace out, everybody. Zach, the Celtics guy signing off. and We'll be back with more soon. Bye for now. Peace out.